Hey guys, welcome back to the VidBits. I'm Bray. And I'm Brian. And me and Dad are back playing some more Black Ops 2. Yeah, somebody in the comments in the last video suggested that we play Buried, so I guess we're going to give it a whirl, and I'm pretty excited. Yeah, yeah, let's get into it. Alright. Waste no time. So this map is kind of like a old western town that's been um, that's collapsed and fallen underground due to the events of the moon Easter egg, where the crew destroy the Earth, um, blowing it up with a bunch of nukes. So here we are. So to start, um, I'm going to go around like a ring here. Yeah, this is kind of like an, a rig of some sort, like an oil rig maybe. Um, and it's just look down. If you look over here, down there, it's just oh shoot, a giant canyon Smoldering crater. Yeah, that's that's literally like that's most of the world at this point. Like if you look at uh, how the the Earth looks after the moon Easter egg, it's just cracked and destroyed, like barely anything left. And if you remember when we played Transit, there was lava um, coming out of the ground everywhere, and it was just you know a hellscape, honestly. So obviously it's the same, we gotta just build up some points here. Yeah, yeah. Essentially we're just, um, you know, taking out a zombies for a couple rounds up here, and then we'll head down um, to the lower levels. Well, I know like when I played zombies in Space Lane with you, like you can usually build up a little bit of points in the first area. Is that kind of like the case here? Yeah, that's how most starting rooms are. They're kind of set up to make the zombies spawn quick and, you know, close to each other, so you and your buddies can take them out and get some points to open the next set of doors or get some guns, whatever you really need to do. You know, some games have different setups, like in Zombies in Spaceland, we sit there for like six rounds or seven rounds. I can't go down here, right? Yeah, don't jump down there until after this round, um, I'd say, just because we need a little bit more points. Okay. I can get over here through the outside, though. Okay. Yeah. Oh, don't jump up here either. Um, you can if you have 1,500 points, I think it is, or maybe a little bit more. Um, you can buy the LSAT up there. Uh, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can try to start off with um, a solid machine gun. Okay, I'm gonna wait. I don't have a lot of points, so I'm gonna just kind of. You can rebuild barriers for more points. You don't suggest any of these entry-level guns? Uh, um, the I'm not the biggest fan of the M14 or the Olympia, honestly, just because uh, the Olympia kills too fast and doesn't yield enough points, and the M14, it's alright, but it kind of falls off. Like, I'd rather just wait in this map, personally, just because the box always spawns in, like, the same place. So, there's a nuke. I would take out as many zombies as you can. Take those guys out and then yeah, I we'll, tried to walk around it. Yeah, we'll pick this up afterwards for the 400 points. Come on, get him. There we go. Get a little bit of free points. Now you can go up there and try to jump and get the uh, the LSAT if you want. You're gonna jump and kind of mantle up. Oh, can you get it? Can you get it? I didn't. You didn't? Oh, I you almost had it though. Oh no. Now where am I? Oh shoot. Okay, so for a source of free points, I would pick up that Remington chalk and write it on the wall where that question mark is. Is that a reloading situation where you'll have an opportunity, or is that just locked now? What? Because I missed it. Um, I think if you knocked it down, it's done for. Um, oh man. It's pretty hard to get back to that starting area. So Sorry. It's all right. Pick up this uh, Remington chalk right there, and then write it on the wall behind you. This one. Yeah. You don't buy that gun necessarily, but you get a thousand free points just for making the wall buy. So it's a pretty easy way to start with some easy points. Um, now there, there's only a couple more zombies left in this round. I guess we could drop down. Now, I feel a little underwhelmed with my gun with my starting pistol here. That's all right. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's jump off. Yep. Yeah, I realized all of those zombies just spawned at the same point. Here, hit the box. All right. I'll try to to protect you a little bit. Hello, my old friend. 
He got it on the first pull. What the heck is that? That's the wonder <laughs> weapon. Oh gosh. That's wild. Okay, so it's going to slow them down. Did it not happen in the last playthrough that I got a wonder weapon right away? You did. You got the Mark II really quick last time. Here, you have to hold it down. It's like a, a slow beam, but it'll kill them. Look at that. Wow. He literally got it on the first pull. What a lucky box. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> That's awesome. That's that's one of uh, the community favorites as far as wonder weapons go. Uh, just because there's like so much versatility in it, if you uh, aim down and jump when shooting, you can also levitate. It looks like it's ticking down. It does, but it'll it'll uh, it kind of like gets to an overheat kind of situation where then you can't use it for a little bit and you'll get more ammo essentially. So like, right. here, look at your feet, j shoot it, and jump. You fly. Oh wow! So That's like neat. for this map where you know, uh, you have to unlock portions of the map to to get going. You can actually like jump over major barriers and stuff. So um. That's a quick way to get um, get around having to open a bunch of doors. Here, follow me. Um, we've got something to do. Okay. We've got a, an old friend to, to rescue. I can't believe that. Oh, I fell. I oh, fell you down. fell? I did. Oh, you have to go back around and jump over again. Okay. That's insane. Yeah, that's wild. I can't believe that. Oh, I fell again. Huh. Come on, you got this. It's, it's a dad move. <laughs> Alright, I got it. Now I'll just drop the hole. Drop down this little okay, hole, yeah. You. Okay. Okay, so we've got this guy, um, and you know, there's a lot of dispute over what his name is, alright? The community has always called him Leroy because of the Leroy Jenkins meme, for whatever reason. Um, but I guess officially his name's Arthur. That's so boy. Yet nobody really ever called him that. So I'm for the rest of this video going to refer to him as Leroy just because I like that name. So I uh dad go ahead and take that key right there and let him let him out. You guys form a gang or something? Oh, I almost just got downed on accident watching you do that. Did you open it up? I did. All right. I'm going to grab the booze and uh have him break this little barrier in our way because honestly that just gets annoying. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. It's to kill. Okay, so now, while we have a little bit of time, follow me. Okay. We're gonna open up this door. Just for your knowledge, I'm gonna probably infinitely be following you since I don't know where we're, where we're going. <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> I don't want to be caught alone with all these zombos. Um, so now that we've opened this up, we're gonna pick up the candy, and he's got a little trick that he can do. He's got many different tricks that you, he can do when you provide him with booze or candy. Um, but the best trick, in my opinion, is the one I'm gonna show you here. Um, come on, Leroy. You can hop down. You're alright. We're gonna bring him over to the, the handy dandy box, and... When we give him the candy, it's going to make it so the teddy bear is just completely removed. Oh, wow, so it won't, it won't move anymore? Yeah, there's no moving, you know, you can just kind of keep it centralized at one spot. So the best spot that's favorite to your playing style for that map? Yeah, so for, you know, for beginners, I'd really say this main spot is the best one. You know, I'm sure people who are, you know, more advanced kind of know the best spots to camp and maybe know a better spot for the box. But personally, I always did it right here. Um, so yeah, now the box won't move, which is just awesome. One of my favorite features of the map. Now, the other cool thing that he can do um, is when you down, or not down, when you uh, make a crawler and you give him candy, he'll just pick him up and carry him around. So like, if you're doing the Easter egg or, you know, say you're just trying to prep for next round, get Pack-a-Punch or something, um, he'll carry him around so you don't even have to worry about it and you know he won't despawn or anything so the next main place I always go is here in the saloon because uh, our man Leroy needs his beverage uh, <laughs> he loves booze and you know you gotta get him some now normally there's a bottle sitting around um, maybe Maybe it spawns after so many rounds, but um, it just, it's super useful uh, to be able to purchase uh, booze 
at the saloon and get it for Leroy because there's just so many different spots that you can use it to open up. So like, say one game you'll open up a Do little. You know, stay in here. Where should I be? I'm coming back to you. I was I got a little lost, but you know sometimes you'll. Where are you? Oh, there you're at. There you are. Come back down here. Sometimes you'll open up, uh, you know, the most conventional route, and then other times you'll get the par- what was it? The Paralyzer? Is that what it's called? Look at the little name when you pull it out. What? It's the Paralyzer, right? Yes. Okay, I don't know why I was blanking on it. There's just so many wonder weapons now, I was just making sure I wasn't calling it a different name and sounding stupid. So, let's head over here. And, um... And then it has a different name when it's Pack-a-Punch, so sometimes I'll accidentally call it its Pack-a-Punch name. No Mule Kick? Um, you can. I think That's some... All my money. Yeah, it, I think that right now it's not really worth it. I would pick up, um... I'm gonna grab the AN-94, and you should probably pick up the uh, PDW or the, the AK-74U. So we can go, um... Oh no, you need to cover me. Pull the Paralyzer out, and take these guys out. Alright, now come this way. Grab that inst- Oh, thank you. That insta-kill actually makes it so I can kill people now. Yes. I was getting stuck for a second. I was like, man, all my guns are out of ammo. And, uh, you would have to literally escort me out of this building. So, thank the maker for that, uh- I know, good, good timing. The insta-kill. Perfect. Okay, so now we've gotten out of that death trap. Um... I'm gonna put this AN-94 wall by oh, right no. here. Oh no. Have you gotten trapped? No, I don't know where you went. I went back to the, like... Did you hop out the window? I did. Um, I went back to the main central location. Oh, no. Are you in the bank? No. Maybe I should just switch oh, weapons. I'm on the main... Oh, there you are. Okay. Alright, so... This is pretty big. This place is pretty big. Um, yeah, it gets a little confusing sometimes, so, why did, oh, I guess there's, oh, I remember now, the booze has multiple spawn locations after you take it out of the cell and give it to Leroy, so now that we have this, we can actually unlock Juggernog and, you know, give us a little bit more resistance, here, don't get in his way, we don't want to ac accidentally, like, have him go in the wrong direction, so there, oh, Oh my gosh, he almost accidentally hit the wrong wall. <laughs> so I would buy this right away. That's a pretty much mandatory perk. Um, All right, got my drink on. <laughs> I'm assuming it has an eggnog flavor. I mean, it's it's called Juggernog. Monkey Double bombs. Points. I got monkey bombs. That is pretty helpful. That might be uh, the key in sur survival later when we go to try to pack a punch. Um, I'm gonna grab the parts for the tr what we call the trample steam. Shit. Oh, you got him. Oh, so now this is another little perma perk. When the, the teddy bear is standing on the box, supposedly it has better luck or just gives you better quality guns in, in general. So, um, that's pretty cool. Oh, cannot place item in the Oh, I've got myself. An L sat stored in there. I knew I had something. I I wasn't exactly sure. Did you pick up that sniper? Sniper, not a good pick. No, it's not good at all. Actually, last time, that's part of the reason I died. Um, if you guys remember in the last video, uh, I picked up the DSR. The M16 something or other. It's all right. It runs out of ammo. Um, but I picked up the sniper and I got a little cocky and then um. I realized the reload was going to be unconventional, and it got me killed. Uh, we we were playing Town after we played Transit, and uh, <laughs> it was just silly. We kind of died a little early, and I was a little bit embarrassed, but at the same time, you know, Dad's just getting used to the controls and getting used to all the maps, and I have all these things ingrained in my head already, so like... I'm trying to do things, and he's just trying to figure out where I'm at. Yeah, I'm just trying to puppy dog you when I can, because I know that I need to, you know, you're going to be able to train the 
zombies in the best situation and stuff. Alright, I'm gonna use the booze on this barrier now, so make sure you're not in my way. Um, this kind of opens up the other half of the map. Like, for you, you have the paralyzer and you can kind of just hop over this, but, you know, for me and Leroy, we kind of have to either jump off that roof right there or not have access to this at all, so it kind of makes it easier to get get around and get to everything when you break that one, but you don't have to, so that's kind of like how I was talking about the um, optional um, things. And then you open this door? What door? This one right here? You can. Um, all right. This is the courthouse. Neat. Yeah, it's all old westerny, and there's a bunch of nooses hanging everywhere. Like, <laughs> pretty crappy courthouse. Well, back in the old west, you know, you you just well, administered, administered fast and swift, huh? Yeah, but then again, you also have to think about all the outlaws at the time and stuff. And I'm like, well, maybe they just had to deal with a lot of. Uh, people causing damage, and they're like, well, uh, you've killed this many people, we can't keep aff affording to put you in jail, so... So what's the benefit of me opening this place up? Nothing? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, it's limited. Uh, if we shoot Leroy on accident, he'll go back to his jail cell, and sometimes you'll have to look around the map for keys. One oh, of the keys... the thing on the wall. Oh, yeah, there's a question mark. So, yeah. Speed Cola's up there, that's pretty useful, but... Aside from the key location, um, I think there might be a part in here somewhere. Uh, I'm not okay. sure. It's it's kind of useless for the most part. Now, if you look over there, there's. Uh, the, are you back where I'm at? I fell on the ground. Where are you? Where are you at? Oh, back at the main spot. Yeah. Um. I'll come back to you. Oh, good. So another ability that um, Leroy has, which is pretty that's eh, which is pretty cool, uh, he can turn power ups into other power ups. So you give him candy, and there's a power up on the floor, and he'll just like change it, which is kind of cool. So like say, you know, there's a carpenter. What's it actually called? I don't know. Oh, the hammer. I think it's called carpenter. Um, the hammer. <laughs> the hammer. Uh, and that's kind of useless. It rebuilds all the barriers across the map, but like this map in particular, it doesn't have too many barriers. <clears throat> Most of the zombies spawn from the ground, so you know you can turn that into like a max ammo, and that could clutch the round. If you have box weapons, you can't buy ammo off the wall. You're screwed sometimes. Yeah, make sure, okay, um, I'm gonna tell you this so you don't accidentally get rid of a good gun. The gun you have out is swapped out with the gun you are buying. So, right. yeah, don't accidentally get rid of your paralyzer because oh, no, no. you want to buy something new. <clears throat> now, I feel like, we can, honestly... There's a part here, do I get this? Um, no. Grab this, this part. Is... This is the part you want. This one? Yep. Oh no! Please don't be mad, Leroy. I accidentally shot him. He was... <laughs> my... He scared me. I turned around and I was like, oh, zombie. Um... Jeez. Oh, okay, so... Why is the AN-94 not as good as I remember? Oh, and that's another cool thing about the paralyzer is you can shoot that around Leroy and he does not care. He just slows down and, you know, gets all, uh, gets that effect all around him, but that's really about it. I was about to say gets all glowy, and I was like, that, that might be silly. Alright, let's go put this together. Uh, I think he might just, uh, the other thing is, I think if there's a bunch of zombies around and he has no other assigned function, he just starts beating the shit out of them. So, he's on our defense now. Um. <laughs> he's just, hey, go, let's go build it. This, the, the, uh, it's right here. He's literally just protecting us. 
Sorry I'm being quiet, I'm just really concentrating. I'm so, I don't want to just die right away. Is that all the parts? No, I, uh, I did not grab the other piece. We can drop down here. The hole you kept falling in? Oh, there we go. It's a pretty handy dandy nuke. I think it's... Why am I forgetting? I thought I already put that piece on. Maybe it's this one? Sometimes I confuse the parts. Um, oh yeah, this is the part I need. Alright, so this is the trample steam. If you don't have the paralyzer, this is kind of the main way. Uh, what? What am I missing on this? Well, give me one second and uh, it will be the trample steam. I got the flag. Maybe did I accidentally drop the flag in another spot? That's what it was, is I tried picking two parts up, and then it exchanged one part for another, and I forgot I didn't place that on the bench. So, I'm just gonna throw a monkey bomb. And now we have the trample steam. Uh, let's pick it up. You actually don't really need it since you have the paralyzer. Throw another monkey bomb because it's getting a little crowded here. All right, let's just—you can jump over, kind of. I'm throwing another monkey. It's, it's getting a little hectic on those stairs. Oh my God, it is. Okay, get down from there. I threw a monkey so you could get out. Okay, you found a way down. Maybe. You did. Okay. Now, let's go and attempt to get to Pack-a-Punch. Aw, oh, man. Oh, okay, I forgot I had the LSAT. Let's make our way over here. And there's this witch's house, um, which is honestly pretty creepy. Honestly. Um, so the way we get over is right here. Trample steam. I'm, I mean, you can use it too if you want. I'll go first. Should, oh, maybe I didn't place it far enough back. Here, you can just like glide over it with your paralyzer. Or you can. Can you put me over first? Yep, that was that was easier. That was way easier than the trample steam. Huh. All right, we gotta get going. And this is hard. This will be hard. It takes your points away when you get hit by this one, these witches, so follow me. Up here. Shooter, shooter! Oh, shit. I have to reload. Can you get her? With the wonder weapon? Yeah. Oh. You using it? oh, it only slows them down, actually. They take your points. Come on, Dad, back up here. Where you at? I'm trying. Okay. We have to go. Did you make it through? I did. Just barely. Just barely. Oh, they got all of our points. Oh, wow. I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter too much. I think they do damage maybe when. Wow. Okay. Wow. Now we're broke. That was creepy. Yeah, and they, they just. Flat broke. What was the point of that? Uh, well, to get back to. Um, to get to pack a punch, but now oh. we're kind of broke. Uh, oh now we can do this instead. Um, if we destroy this fountain here, which that grenade didn't do anything. Kill, kill them all. We got a perk. Uh, did, did you get one? Yeah. Oh, and we got a we got an achievement too. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah, so I guess we can't destroy this. Uh, I forgot that part of that thing is, like, uh, if we want to go back to the start, we would have had to... Oh, shit, we can't run. I mean, I guess we can make our last stand at pack punch I mean, we can hopefully get a... Oh, the paralyzer is infinite ammo. Can you send me over this? Yep, and then you just do the same. And then we go down to this little area here. Oh. 
to fall down that? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Just don't go off that last bit. Oh, and here's Backer Punch. So now that I've thought about it, you have... So you have 5k. Yeah, you have infinite ammo. Though. Yeah. So if we sit here, hopefully we'll get a max ammo, and then I'll get two guns worth, and we should be fine. And they're still walking. I mean, should be too bad. Then they drain your weapons, too? No, I just used all my ammo trying to shoot them. Um, well, because, I mean, I didn't want to lose my points. I should have just thought about the fact that most of the time when you go through there, unless you have really powerful guns, you're going to lose most of your points. Yeah. What perk did you get? I don't know. Oh, that's stamina. Um, or stamina up? I don't know. Stamina? I don't know. It's, it's one of those two. But, uh, it essentially just makes it so you have an infinite sp <gasps> That max ammo! Yes! <laughs> yes! I'm so happy. I was like, I was scared for a second. I was like, man, I don't know how long it'll be till we get more ammo. Nice. Perfect. Alright. Let's just... Got the trample steam up just to try to take care of enemies while I'm reloading and stuff like that. Neat. Pretty fortunate for my first uh, playthrough of this map to get a really awesome weapon. It's gonna all go downhill from here, right? <laughs> well, that's why I always lock the box, is because only one person can get the paralyzer. Um, so what I always do is just lock it in that first location and then we all just hit the box until we get it. So the fact that you got it the first time, that was just perfect. I mean, it made it so it kind of set us up for the rest of the game. Because I don't know how far we would have gotten even in that one situation we were in, we were in where I ran out of ammo. Like, right. and then you, you killed a couple guys with the paralyzer and then we got an insta-kill and just got out of there. Like... I would have been screwed. I, I was a, I was running on empty. I had just the um, the 1911, and at that point, it was pretty much useless. All right, I like this spot. It's one of my favorite camping spots, honestly. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of... I can cannot believe it. Because, like, there are so many different power-ups. And we could have gotten a nuke, we could have gotten an insta-kill, we could have gotten any of the other ones. And we got the one we had to get to pretty much keep going, really. Like, wow. How fortunate. Neat. It's neat. You're 1600 away from getting that... That pack-a-punch. Pack uh, what should I pack-a-punch, though? My rule back in the day was the least powerful weapon right. out of the two. You could always get the other one later. Yeah, and I figured, like, you know, you want... Say, like, you have a heavy weapon and a normal weapon, or, like, a wonder weapon. The wonder weapon will do more damage for longer, so you can wait to pack-a-punch that ray gun and, you know, get your, your uh, wall weapon, typically, uh... You need uh, pack a punch that first, which I think I'm gonna go with the AN94, just because I put that wall by back at the the start. So say you know further down the line when I'm running out of ammo in my other gun, I can just purchase ammo off the wall for the AN94 and be set. I'm gonna try. Is that? I need to remember that. Behind you. Oh, behind me. Sorry, I'm switching weapons and. Reloading on the other one. Just be careful with the trample steam. Um, when it's fully charged, it does knock you too. So you don't want to accidentally. Um... Oh, go ahead. You need to get. You need to get points during this double points. So I'm gonna pack that AN94. This was my ultimate goal. I was like, we we got at least pack a punch. I mean, you know, this is a pretty difficult map for some if you don't stick together. Like. Some people are not willing to stick by their friends, so if you don't group up, you're probably going to get stuck somewhere and get down. But when you got good coordination like we do, then you, you just kind of stay by each other. Especially because you know that, you know, you don't know all of the different nooks and crannies of this map. 
So you could take one wrong turn and then you're screwed. And then me going to try to pick you up also kills me. Right. And I think a lot of people don't really think about that in zombies. They're just like, gun go burr, shoot zombie. You know, and they're just trying to, they're trying to kill things. So they're going to as the closest zombie and trying to kill them. Instead of being like, well, maybe my buddy needs a little bit of points. So like, let him get some. And yeah, definitely need some points. Yeah, you do. Unfortunately, the only downside to the Paralyzer is it doesn't build too many points, but it does have infinite ammo, so that's an upside. Halfway there. Alright. So once you get Pack-A-Punch, um, we're going to try to head back. I don't know, I might pack a punch my LSAT, uh, if I have enough by then, but I'm also not trying to steal all the kills, because you obviously need points. I'm just trying to win That's you- a slow burn, though. Yeah. I'm just trying to throw extra fire and take out zombies that you, you know, aren't focusing on. There's a max ammo right there. So here, I'm gonna throw this monkey bomb. Uh, I'm gonna throw it a little bit higher up. Reload. Oh, I forgot that you're using the parallel. I'm, gonna I'm honestly just going to throw all these monkey bombs. So, oh, there's a new one too. I did not mean to pick both up. Well, there's 400 points. I was kind of just trying to give you an opportunity to get kills there, but, you know, at the same time, that nuke is just kind of nice. How about you watch the main board and I'll watch the side door. Okay. Let me know if you need to switch. I'm gonna help. Help, 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 help. help. Alright. I tossed some monkey. Max, F and ammo. <laughs> Sorry I didn't help out sooner. It's alright, I just didn't switch. So I was pretty crap. You can't pack a punch your uh, Mondo up there. You can. Oh, wow. Yeah, I would pack a punch that. Yeah. It gives you a lot more capacity and it just does more damage. Alright, I'm gonna pack a punch my L side. I just realized I haven't really played much uh, Black Ops 2 on my PC, or on my Steam Deck, ra st eh, Steam Deck rather. I play, uh, I mean I downloaded it first on my PC and then I didn't really play it much. And then I found that I use my Steam Deck a lot more. <laughs> I mean, it's just so convenient being able to bring it anywhere. And it, it's pretty good for recording, um, you know, older PC games I'd say. Probably not anything modern like new Call of Duties, but I don't really like those anyways because they don't make zombies. Or when they do, it's not horde based or they change too much. Like the last zombies experience I was really down for was um, Black Ops 3. Um, Infinite Warfare was pretty good. Oh, you're almost there. So, yeah, once you get that. I'd say we're gonna end the round and then. Oh no, help! I have to reload. Help! Oh my gosh, I had to reload. You covered me. Wow. I should have switched weapons. My weapon's not reloading. Oh. There's a double points. Come on, get that. Get to 5k. Pack. Pack a punch. Behind you. Behind you. Oh shit. Holy crap. Have you pack a punch? I'm it now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Did you get it? Oh. Yeah. You got it. Nice. Dad's first pack a punch. And it's the wonder weapon on the first try of the 
this person. I would do this map. That's crazy. Oh so shit! This, oh this shit! This map. I hope that you're enjoying this. Yeah, I mean, I love buried. It's one of my faves. I gotta reload. We back back up into the room. We kid. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. This is. You gonna double pack a punch something before you go? Oh shit! I could do that. Well, and we hit the pack a punch goal for this episode. <laughs> In Black Ops 2, double pack-a-punching only changes, like, attachments and stuff. Whereas in Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare, it gives you, like, a little, um... Oh, that's alright. I got a new site. It gives you, like, a little elemental effect or something. Okay, there's a nuke. Let's go. Just watch out for the hole. Oh, goodness. Nathan, you said that I was about to fall right in it. Oh, while we're here, I should probably pick up stamina up. Er, uh, actually... Yeah. Shit. I forgot. There, there, there's no slide in this game. Black Ops 3 has a slide. So I just did a dolphin dive on accident. Okay, we need to go back through the middle. So I lost you. You lost me? I did. Where'd you go? I'm still right there by the machine. Oh, it's, uh, it's just around the... Shit. I'm gonna die. I got a monkey bomb. I got it off at the last second. Okay, can, did you get out of there? Where am I supposed to go? I'm gonna have to throw another monkey bomb. I'm trying to get past these guys. Or, you went, okay, over here, Dad. Where are you at? All right, here you go. Okay. This way. I'm, oh, I'm out of monkey bombs. Okay. Get, oh, you're, man. you're gonna have to help me jump over this. I didn't make it. I'm gonna run around. Almost died. Oh, shit. Get down. Okay, okay. Just gotta focus up. Finish the round off and pick you up. I was... Uh, I went all the way up and when I came back down, I almost lost all my health. There's a max. Oh, more monkey bombs. Get out of my way. Get out, way to go. Get out of my way. I'm going for it. Oh shit. Oh shit. No. No, the monkey! No! No! I got it off and they didn't focus on it. Man. Man, that was a good one. Was it? We. I mean, I pack a punch both of my weapons. You pack a punch the wonder weapon. I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. 150 kills. I'm happy with that. Hell yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. You know, we surely had a great time. Thanks to whoever um, suggested that we played Buried um, on the last episode. We totally appreciate the recommendations in the comments. Um, you know, because I'm trying to get Dad trained up, and I think we have a new goal. Our new goal is to beat the Mob of the Dead and the Origins Easter Eggs together. So, you know, we're going to have to train up at Zombies, you know, because I'm a little rusty, and, you know, he's not quite used to, to Black Ops 2 yet, but... Those are our goals, so if you want to see us do that, um, make sure to like, subscribe, share, um, you know, just let us know how you feel about how, about the series in general. We're just, we're trying to go back and play some Black Ops 2. Um, I'm certainly enjoying it, so, and it's neat to be able to play a game that's so well loved by a community and so taken care of in like a modders community and all this extra stuff. and been existent for so long and to just be delving into it really for the first time so i'm enjoying it yeah 12 years old this year so you know that's crazy so we love you guys you know it's been bray and bry from the vid bits can't wait to see you in the next one tell us what maps to do next peace peace <laughs>